Alright guys, I meant to cover this yesterday, but I completely forgot about it, so here it is now. Luckily, this video will still be relevant if I made it next week or next month, because the BBC are up to their old tricks again as per usual. At this point, you all know the BBC race bait up there with the best of them. Like many other media outlets, they do their best to tell David Lammy and Diane Abapotamus to hold their beer. In fact, some might remember these snivelling shit weasels calling skiing racist a few months ago. Cortina may be one of only a handful of places to host the Alpine World Championships, but it's similar to every resort in Europe and across North America in one respect. The fact that almost everyone in these beautiful places is white. That is certainly the case here in Larks and has been at all of the places that I've been fortunate enough to visit through competition and now work. When you're in the majority, you fit in. So why would you question it? It's only by looking at this through a different lens you start to realise that these environments perhaps aren't as equal, as accessible or as welcoming as we'd like to think. Yep, skiing is racist, the snow is white, so it really doesn't surprise me that the BBC think it's racist and I expect it ain't gonna surprise you either. Obviously make sure that no one tells the jumped up little toss pot with that strong Scottish name Hamza Youssef. All that white snow will send him into shit fits of rage like the fact Scotland is 97% white does. The Lord President, white. The Lord Justice Clark, white. Every High Court judge, white. The Lord Advocate, white. The Solicitor General, white. The Chief Constable, white. Every Deputy Chief Constable, white. Every Assistant Chief Constable, white. The head of the Law Society, white. The head of the Faculty of Advocates, white. Every prison governor, white. Well guys, it seems the BBC have once again been caught hiring based on race, while excluding white people from even applying. Yep, the ever-progressive BBC has used some tosspot company or agency called Creative Access to hire trainee production assistant managers or some shit like that, who can't be white because they at the BBC are considered a lower class of citizen and obviously no longer needed. This of course is obviously just bollocks but not surprising in the slightest and actually in my mind is a good thing. The more the BBC shows itself to be a complete woke joke discriminating against the majority of the country, the more people will turn against it. I want it defunded, so obviously this is good news to me. Now naturally, this will be called equality, or if used in mental gymnastics, positive discrimination, which while illegal, has a loophole in this country that allows trainees to be hired based on race. Which, if you ask me, is actually racist. I mean, it sounds like the BBC and government who made the laws think ethnic minorities are in some way unable to compete against the general population. To me, that sounds a bit white supremacist, I don't know about you. I firmly believe people should be judged on their merits, not their skin colour, religion or anything else for that matter. Take me for instance, I'm a bit of a cunt, there's no way to sugarcoat that for anyone, it's a fact of life and I actually own it. Me being white does not make me a cunt, me being me makes me a cunt because I just don't care and I never will. If people don't like me, it's their problem at the end of the day. If I make you salty enough that I'm living rent free in your tiny little lead while you scream and shout about what a wanker I am then you've literally just made my day. I will bathe in the salty tears regardless of what tosspot is producing them, right or left, Tory or Labour, media fuckpig or general member of the public. I say shit how I see it and I literally always will. I am not a known giver of fucks as I expect many of you have already guessed. At the end of the day, if you act like a dickhead or I just generally think you are, that is something I'm gonna call that. It's certainly not gonna have anything to do with your race or anything like that. The BBC, on the other hand, love to base almost everything on race as you know. Merit is completely out of the window, as this job posting actually proves, but it's not even the first time they have done it, is it? Nor is it obviously going to be the first time they have been called out for it, and to be honest, I bet it won't be the last. Their actions over many years at this point have proven the BBC to possibly be one of the most anti-white organisations there is at this point. Shit, an argument could be made that BLM likes white people more than most, if not all, of the snivelling shit weasels working at the BBC. But guys, in what is a surprise to absolutely fucking none of you, yet again the BBC is a racist bunch of fuck pigs, plain and simple. This sort of shit just proves it beyond all doubt, and like I said, should see them defunded, but I wouldn't hold your breath on that one. Now guys, before I go, remember to check out my website that's linked down below, along with my Odyssey and BitChute channels. That is there in case YouTube shit can me into the wrong thing gulag, so check them out if you have not already.